Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Two old guys talking about stuff. Yeah, we love stuff, don't we? Yeah. As a matter of fact, we, we we're actually we've been looking back a lot on stuff this week, haven't we, John? We have been. It's a, it's that rearview mirror week for us. It's a nostalgia week. We've yeah. been looking back. We just interviewed Herbie Herbie J. Pilato about his new book, Retroactive Television, about television and of classic television, 50s, 60s, 70s. Mm. Um, we're, we're talking to Grace uh, on Vintage Film Channel about the old shows that she's got there right? Um, and, the, and the old movies. Uh, it's, it is a nostalgic week for us. Have you been uh, enjoying it? That's the question. I've been enjoying it a lot. As a matter of fact, uh, we, we do hit on a lot of nostalgic uh, uh, things, uh, uh, especially uh, when we were with Manny Pacheco. And we're talking about that's true. Uh, uh, Hollywood all the time, uh, yeah, uh, and things like that. So yeah, this has been a great week. As a matter of fact, uh, you and I are uh, doing some new stuff uh, with uh, Grace on uh, where we're beginning to watch a lot of the 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 movies and TV shows that are on her vintage film channel. Uh, yeah. and, uh, I, I think this it, week, yeah. uh, uh, hopefully, we pick the same one. Which, one of the show of shows with Sid Caesar and Imogen Coco. What a hoop. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, the, I think nostalgia is good. I, I, it is, first of all, if you get to a certain age, you can't help but think back about your childhood or your parents or, and you, you become curious. I think, right. if I'm not mistaken, um, ancestry is one of the biggest hobbies in the country. Uh, for people over 50. I mean, it's very, very popular. Oh, I thought it was so, remembering where your car keys are. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's nostalgia too, mm -hmm. isn't it? But uh, nostalgia is good for us. I think uh, everybody should look back and uh, learn from the past, whether it's your past or historic past, whether it's movies. And, and when it comes to uh, film and television, um, what's great about the old movies and the old TV shows is that while the styles have changed, while the culture may have changed, the production values have changed, you know, black and white to color or whatever else, the humanity hasn't changed. The stories are great. Mm. The acting is terrific. Um, so there's so much common denominator in humanity to, to all those things in the past. We look back, I'm sure every generation has been nostalgic for something in their past. Or at least something that they remember probably with uh, a bit of rose-colored glasses on of uh, the good old days, okay? Which may or may not have in fact been the good old days, but it's it's like a, a, an old shoe that's comfortable to yeah. put on. And so it's yeah. it's of times that, that we remember that are really fun. But I, you know... Uh, wait, 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 wait just a minute. Wait just a minute. So you think that when Moses delivered everybody to the new land, to the to, to the promised land, you think there was one guy, Moishi, who said to his neighbor, he said, you know, building those pyramids wasn't so bad. I kind of remember that uh, big, that first big block. I like that. What do you think? No, I, actually, you know, I think you have it close, but I think that the same people were looking back and saying, remember when we had like 15 commandments and... <laughs> And now we only got 10. What are we going to do? We're going to get down to one uh, before we know it or none. So, yeah, that kind of, but also, also. It's nostalgia. You know what? I, uh, unfortunately, it's off the air other than in reruns. But I wonder if the Jetsons could be looking back on the Flintstones and talking about those simpler times. or Now that's nostalgia. Or yeah. our grandkids who in uh, 40 or 50 years from now will be looking back because they will now have like stuff that's wired right into their brain and looking for the good old days when they have a device in their hand. Oh, those yeah. are gonna remember we had the 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 the, the Sony PlayStation. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but for us, for our world, for our audience, for you, our contemporaries, yeah. looking back uh, on vintage uh, film, uh, TV shows, and things like that. Uh, it really gives us a time to 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 enjoy things that we enjoyed growing up, and maybe that's what every generation should have 
the ability to look back and uh, have a nostalgic look at things that were maybe in simple times or that we remember uh, the good parts and not so much the bad parts. Yeah. Well, I, look, every generation, you, you, looking back, I think, is important because when you look forward, you have no idea what's going to happen. Right. The, the, the future is kind of scary in that regard. And so looking back, it's kind of comforting. Um, and it doesn't happen. I don't think I don't think people under 30 can look back. I don't think there's such a thing as nostalgia for those folks. I think you have to get to a certain age to a, mm. appreciate the past. And I hope I hope that next week everybody who watches this will appreciate this video. Right. Look back and say, look how It'll look how good looking good. these guys were. And yeah. vibrant they were. Young. And, yeah. Young, handsome. Yeah. Yeah. It's a you know, it, it's a it's a it's a burden we have to bear. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.